sound test mic what's up guys learning with rich here again in this video i'm going to teach you how to create and label a wiring plan okay so we are going to continue our discussion about uh revit mep so this time around so it's on the electrical part so let's do this one so as you can see i'm on the power plan level one so before i start what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all the lighting fixtures here as well as the switches. So for me to be able to do that, I just need to go to the uh, visibility graphic overrides. So you just click that one out. And then after that, you just go to the lighting fixtures. Lighting fixtures and devices. Okay, so lighting devices and lighting fixtures. Just uncheck that and then just select your OK. All right, there you go. So before I start putting my wire, again, thanks to Mr. Eric Wing, I have learned this part of the Revit Electrical from him. So Eric Wing is from the Linda.com. All right, so let's create now our wire. So to start with, so from the Systems tab, so I have a wire here from the electrical panel. So I'm going to do it manually. So I'm going to click the arc wire. Okay, and then make sure you click on the node here, that one on the point, just click that. So that's my first point. And then it's like you're just creating an arc here. That's why we have selected there an arc wire. There you go, click another point. There you go. And then you can also see there the tick mark. Okay, so later on, I'm going to show you how to uh, modify the tick mark or if you want to disable that just like me i don't show the tick mark that much in a, in my uh, wiring plan so i just hide it so i'm going to show it to you later on so for now i'm just going to pick here i'm going to pick another one here to complete my art pick here okay so that's my wire now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a home run so to create a home run so I'm going to click a point here, I'm going to click another point here, and then I'm just going to pick a floating wire here. I'm going to pick the third point, and there you go, it will automatically create now the home run. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to label now my wire. So to label the wire, make sure you already have the family created inside your, uh, created and loaded inside the project. And then after that, you just need to select here tag by category just click that one and then you can uncheck the leader here i don't want to have a leader line and then i'm not going to pick here there you go so it's from the circuit number one so if i'm gonna click this you will see that it's from the circuit number one that's why it says one okay there you have it. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create your wiring automatically. This one I created uh, manually, right? So the next is automatic layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the receptacle, and then I'm going to press tab. So once I do that, it will highlight or it, it will somehow show the preview of the wiring, right? So once you see the preview, I'm now going to click that. There you go. And then you can now see here the two icons wherein you can create an arc wire or chamfered wire. You can also go to convert to wire panel and then you can select either of these two. So it's just the same. So these two icons is just the same as these two icons that we have here. Okay, so I'm going to select here arc wire or you can also click this one. And there you have it. So you just created your uh, wiring so you can again modify your wiring like for example the home run you want to point it somewhere here pointing to the receptacle just like that again I'm going to select the tag by category let me just tag my wires so they are on circuit number three okay all right so that's it for oh let me just create this wiring here so i hover my pointer over the element and then press tab and then click and then arc wire there you have it again 
I select modify, I select the wire, and then I can just move that one out. So that is what I'm going to do also, uh, also on my uh, lighting plan. So I'm going to open my level 1 lighting ceiling plan. Okay, so these are my lighting fixtures. So same procedure. I'm going to uh, select the arc wire. I'm just going to click at the center, and then I'm going to click somewhere here. Okay, just like that, and then I'm going to click one here, click another point, and then click another point here to create the home run. Okay, so like for example, for this for this one, I'm going to hover my pointer, press tab, and then I click, and then I'm going to create the arc wire automatically. Okay, so again, it will create your wires, and then it will also create the home run. Same here. So over your pointer over one of the element and then press tab and then you click and then you arc wire it okay take note that you can also of course use the other uh, wiring wiring type okay it can be arc wire or uh, chamfered wire okay okay there you go and then don't forget to put your tag so I select the tag I click okay there you go. So there's my tag. So circuits one, two, and three. There you go. And then you just need to tidy up. So make sure the tags are uh, nice and clear. So you can see it uh, visibly without any hindrance. So if you're having a difficulty, so you just use that window selection to move your object. Oops. There you go. Oops. All right. And then the next thing that I'm going to show you is let us uh, control the tick mark. Okay? So to control the tick mark, you see those lines there. So you call the tick mark. All you have to do is to select the wire. Like, for example, this one, I'm going to select that. And then as you can see, there's a minus and plus sign here. So you are able now to minus or plus the number of tick marks. Or if you are just like me who do not want uh, to show the tick marks on my wiring, so what I'm going to do instead of doing that, so I'll just go to the electrical settings. And then after that, I'm just going to go to the show tick marks here. As you can see, it says here, always. And then these are the tick marks that are loaded. So instead of always, I'm just going to click the drop down arrow and then just select here, never. And then I just select here, OK. And there you go. So let me check out my power plan as well. As you can see, my power plan here doesn't have the tick mark anymore, right? So basically, that's how you create your wire. It's just a 2D element. You will not be able to see a 3D of a wire, okay? You will not be able to see that wirings in your 3D view. So only on the plan view, all right? So that's it for your wiring on how to create and label your uh, wiring plan. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day